switching to the green party. So that's what I'm hearing right now. The Cornell West is switching to the green party and I don't really care. <laughs> I don't care. Cor uh, Cornell West is probably, that was a Colonel West. Cornell West is probably the only person that I would really <clears throat> consider voting for. Not as, you know, because I don't want the other party to win or nothing like that. Somebody who I would actually want to win, not prefer to win, but want to win. Right, that is my instinct. I gotta look into Colonel West a little bit more. Um, I don't really know that much about him, to be honest. But from what I do know, he seems like the kind of person I would want to vote for. But he ran, he, he, he start, started on in the People's Party, a fraudulent, corrupt joke of a party affiliated with scammers and frauds like Jimmy Dore and others being defended by the clown show that is RBN. And, and it's not nothing about them, right? It's more about the party itself and the lack of ballot access. And now the idea that he wants to switch to the Green Party, which is a better party, but switching now means nothing to me. In fact, switching now more makes, I don't know what how to describe Colonel West. It seems incompetent potentially fraudulent. I mean, look at these associating himself with a fraudulent party, associating himself with other frauds. Like, what is the pattern here? Fraud, 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 fraud. Like, what? what is he just that dumb? It doesn't make any sense, right? But here's why the switching to the Green Party, it doesn't help. It makes it even more, to me, more like, whoa, this doesn't look good. So, you decided you're going to run for president. It's like, you... Anyway, <laughs> you decided you're going to run for president. And only now you're thinking about ballot access? Like, this is this guy's a grown ass man. You're gonna run for president and you just like pick a random party, maybe a party that you know people in there, and you're friends with them. I mean you, you didn't sit down and say, okay, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run for president. Strategically, what's the best way for me to accomplish this? Alright, um, part of my strategy, I need to pick a party, right? What party am I gonna run with? What are my options? There's the People's Party, Green Party. Okay, based on these options, what is the best party for me to run? In terms of most aligned with my ideology and what I want to do, and also the best party in terms of, you know, potential for me to win. Now, if he does that kind of analysis, there's no way he ends up in the People's Party. So the fact that he ends up in the People's Party means he didn't do that kind of analysis. And if he didn't do that kind of analysis, either he's fraudulent, it's like a, it's like a vanity project, <laughs> or he's incompetent, in, in which case, why would I want an incompetent person to be president? We already saw where that goes. I mean, he probably would be better, even incompetent, than, than the, the person before Biden. But I'm not interested in an incompetent president. I want a competent president, the kind of person that can figure out the basics of how to run for president. I'm gonna run for president. I need to, fix, I need to pick an effective party that I'm gonna run under. No way does, you know, do you, you, do you come to any kind of sensible conclusion that running under the People's Party is the answer to that question, right? So how on earth does he end up there? It's it's three, one of three things. Incompetence, and it can be a combination of these. Incompetence, fraud, or, I don't know, the Vanity Project stuff is just, that, that goes in with the, um, that goes in with the, that goes in with the fraud, right? Because if you're doing this just for clicks, you're doing this to sell books, you're doing this to, you know, oh, I ran for press, whatever it is, like that's fraudulent, man. That is fraudulent. So let me just make it fraudulent or incompetent. I don't see any other way that we end up in a situation. And again, switching the Green Party, I mean, a lot of people are very simplistic in their thinking. So many are gonna be like, yeah, this is great. He's gonna run the Green Party, it's the best thing. Not even thinking, wait a minute, why didn't he pick the Green Party in the first place? This is a serious problem. What does this tell us about what he's up to? Slash what he's capable of, what his capabilities are. Nothing good. Do you really think that Dr. Cornell West is gonna fumble his way into the White House? Is that what you think? Right, you think the guy who would pick the People's Party and then switch to the Green Party, you think somehow that's gonna make it all of a sudden, it's like a different guy? It's just, This is the same guy who picked the People's Party. Right, so whatever led him in that direction is gonna lead him to other dead ends and bad decisions under the Green Party. The Green Party does not all of a sudden make it magically go away, whatever it is that put him where he is. If he had picked the Green Party from the get-go, then we could say, okay, still might be a long shot. We 
what the Democrats are going to suppress him, blah, blah. But at least he is doing something sensible that makes sense. There's a possibility this could work out. But for the minute, he chose the People Party. And now he wants to choose Green Party, which again, let me, let me say, make, explain myself. The reason why I said that makes it worse, again, is because that says he didn't even think about this stuff before, right? Because if he had thought about it and then chose the People's Party, why would he now switch to the Green Party? Green Party was there before. Why didn't he pick that, them in, in the first place? Right? What has changed between when he, he announced his, his, his run for president versus now? Right? I don't know, guys. Um, this is just... It's insane. Every time we get an election, it's always some garbage. You got the establishment folks, the corporate Democrats, you got the, the, the troll party Republicans. Then you got someone like Bernie, and Bernie could have won, and we'll see what, what could, who knows what that would have meant. But then after he loses, he just kind of like fizzles out and becomes very, very weak and just like almost like a Democratic Party tool. And now we got the outsider, Kona West. You know, he's not going to be part of the Democrats. But he picked the People's Party. Like, what? And now, oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, let me switch to the Green Party now. Like, what the hell is going on? Why is it always a joke when it comes to elections in this country? Every option is always a joke. This is the Debate Me channel. Debate Me in the comment section below. Click on the like button. Subscribe. Smash that bell.